Outrage after neighbors found a buck walking around with a crossbow bolt stuck in its face. As News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen explains, wildlife officers took steps to save it, and now they're looking for the poacher responsible. A lot of people love living in Tennessee because of its wildlife. So some neighbors in Hendersonville were upset when they spotted this buck with a crossbow bolt stuck in its face. That's when the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency stepped in to help. They received several calls from people in the Indian Lake area of Hendersonville about the deer after multiple sightings. So officers were able to track it down. They did tranquilize the animal using a dark, uh, dark gun. And once they inspected the, the wound, uh, they realized that it had missed uh, a lot of vital areas. It didn't hit any blood vessels or veins. Uh, the broadhead was lodged in his lower jaw. They removed the bolt, applied medicine to the wound, and let the buck go. If the animal does die, then they would have to pay the state restitution, which would be $1,000 for the deer itself and then $500 for each antler point. The attempt to harvest the buck is considered a Class B misdemeanor. TWRA's Barry Cross says it's possible the crossbowmen could lose their hunting license too. The biggest thing that you need to take away from this, whether, whether or not it was a bad shot or not, uh, was the fact that they were hunting out of season and they were illegally trying to take an animal. If you know who attempted to poach the deer, call the TWRA. Reporting in Sumner County, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. And deer hunting season with archery equipment doesn't start until August 26th, and it only runs for two days through the 28th. A few other reminders, hunting at night is against the law. So is hunting from the road, and harvesting on someone else's property without permission is also illegal.